forecast first. Showers this evening then staying fairly mild overnight tonight, only cooling down to 58 degrees and we won't be coming up much from there tomorrow, topping out at just 64, partly cloudy tomorrow, but we will see a small chance of showers. I'll have more on that coming up. Eyewitness News at 6 starts right now. This is Eyewitness News at 6 on WUTR. Good evening, I'm Thomas Fleming. Thank you for joining us tonight. Today, Howard Zemsky, chairman of Empire Development Corporation, announcing the $1 billion facility that will be built in Marcy. Cree Incorporated, a semiconductor company, is coming to the Mohawk Valley, and it will bring with it an estimated $4.3 billion impact to our region. Cree is investing $1 billion in construction of a plant in Marcy. New York State will provide $500 million in grants through its Economic Development Office, bringing in over 600 jobs with a $75,000 average salary. The company plans to partner with the local community and four-year colleges in North Carolina and New York to develop training and internship programs to prepare its workforce for these types of high-tech jobs the company is looking for. The workforce is highly skilled, and so you don't have you know, traditional operators just moving stuff around. That's, that's highly automation, high automation. Um, equipment does all that. What we need are technicians that work on those machines and repair the machines and repair the equipment that is doing all the robotics and stuff. And that's, that's definitely, you know, a higher skill um, type job, which translates into a higher paying job as well. And we will have a full report from today's announcement over on our sister station, WFXV First at 10, and then back here for WUTR at 11. Before speaking at that event via phone, Governor Cuomo made another announcement that will benefit the area, a $3 million investment in the SUNY apprenticeship program to be coordinated by Mohawk Valley Community College. The money comes from the Governor's Workforce Development Initiative. Besides MVCC, several other SUNY schools will be included in the apprenticeship program. It includes work in artificial intelligence, cybersecurity, and other information technology interests. Workforce development workshops will be held across the Mohawk Valley, Central New York, and the North Country. The 21-year-old Cicero man accused of killing 17-year-old Bianca Devins back in July, appearing in county court this morning. Many of Bianca's friends and family were there in the courtroom. It was a quick appearance for Clark. Arjun Selig was there, and she has your latest. Brandon Clark is charged with second-degree murder in connection with the death of Utica teen Bianca Devins. This morning, Clark's attorney, Luke Niebush, told the judge that defense hasn't got an autopsy report. Prosecution says they reached out to try to get those results and haven't heard back. 